Hi, I'm Jeff Palomo with Palomo & Associates. We are your estate planning and elder law firm. Today's video, we are gonna talk a little bit about executive selection mistakes that can cost your legacy. So what are some mistakes that people are making when they are choosing who the executor of their estate will be? Well, first, what is an executor? The executor is the person who is going to carry out your wishes when you are no longer here to make sure that what you have put in your last will and testament is carried through. So the person has a lot of responsibility. They have to potentially sell property, move assets, and then distribute the assets according to the will. And what we often find is a few common mistakes that people are making. One is they feel obligated that it has to be a child. Well, if you have the right child who is detail oriented, who is trustworthy, and who is a high follow through, then I say, yeah, pick your child. But if you're just picking a child for the sake of picking a child, buyer beware, please don't do that. And certainly don't pick the oldest child simply because he or she is the oldest. They have to earn it. They have to be right for the position. Another mistake that we see is that people provide no explanation to the executors. They name them, they may tell them, they may not tell them, but either way, they're not providing details. The assets themselves are fairly easy, but what about that personal property? What about those items in your house? Who do you want them to go to? Give as much detail to your executor as you possibly can. And the last mistake that we see people making is that there are a lot of law firms that are being named as the executor of an estate. And what most of them are not telling the families is that, yeah, they'll act as the executor. And then the firm will also then act as the attorney for the estate. And they'll charge twice. They'll charge once to be the executor, once to be the attorney. And for the most part, those fees are pretty much the same in Pennsylvania. I don't necessarily feel that that's right. I think you should pick someone to be the executor and allow us, the law firm, to act in the law firm capacity to guide and to take care of the inheritance tax returns and all of the things that the executor may not be able to do. I hope you enjoyed the few mistakes that we find that people are making in regards to who they're choosing as the executor and how it can have a cost to their legacy. Please take a look at our other videos that we have to learn more about executor and last will and testaments. Thank you very much.